Guys, it's Jay, more than they have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and this is episode 30 motherfucking 6, that's right, 36, on my Ultimate Vault Hunter motherfucking Let's Play, and we are back here in the Torg motherfucking DLC, and we are on our way to see Pyro Pete in the beatdown. But he's not going to be Pyro Pete the Ultra Invincible yet, he is just going to be Pyro Caustic motherfucking Pete. And if you've never seen my channel before, you'll know that this is one of my favorite areas to snipe in. That is why I have the bee shield on. If you kind of come back here and you sit right here, you can pretty much, you know, see these little guys over here. Uh, they're right next to that slag barrel. Let's go ahead and hit that slag barrel, see if we can't get a... Uh, couple hits on these motherfuckers before they come out here. We need to take their fucking shields out and boom, look at that Pimpernel, baby. Love that shit. <laughs> uh, if the, the thing is, everybody asks me about the Pimpernel. Look at it. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, that's not good. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That is why I don't really want to use the B anymore because the B is kind of kind of shitty especially if you have one that's really under motherfucking leveled so uh you know we're we're in a little bit of trouble right now just a little bit let's throw our fucking ruby out there real quick and see see how fast our shit goes down in ult yeah that's that's not good the b is uh even though it was helping us take out some motherfuckers it is uh not wise to use a level 50 b shield at level 57 so let's go ahead and get rid of that that was just a little bit of a, a little bit of a, uh, you know, test right there to see how it would do. And remember I told you guys I've lost weapons out of my inventory before? Uh, I'm pretty sure I had a full backpack. Now I don't. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's from when I sold weapons in a uh, Torg DLC. I don't, I don't really remember exactly what fucking happened to that shit. But, uh, you know, we just got our asses whooped and uh this is one of the things i like about the ruby pistol because it's not just damage against enemies right here you see this shock barrel boop as long as i'm holding that any type of damage that that fucking barrel does gives me some little bit of health back so that is actually pretty fucking amazing but uh yeah we just got our asses kicked and a lot of people were uh talking about oh look at this guy look at this guy ready we're gonna shoot him right boop bam baby bam uh you guys were uh, asking why I shoot people down there like that with the uh, Pimpernel. And that's because the fucking Pimpernel, I told you guys before, it has these little balls that pop up out of a beam of light. And fucking, it, it fucks shit up. Like, really bad. <laughs> Look at this guy coming at me. What does he think he's gonna do? Ready? We're gonna... Oh, he's ultimate badass! No, 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 I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't. Let, let's see if we can't slag the motherfucker. There we go. Let's see, let's see what the fucking Harold does when there's... <laughs> I love it when they moonwalk. Yeah, look at the Harold doing some slagging work. Some slagging dragon, baby. Oh, no, 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 there's more people. Why is his body still floating around back here? Go, go rewind that for a second. I swear to God, I just saw that. <laughs> his body was just still dragging around back there. And these motherfuckers, I hate the shields in Ultimate Volt Hunter mode. Because they all rock like Alphamon. Look at this motherfucker! There you go! <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw one of these home and storm fronts. Oh, what the fuck was that? What was that? Like some weird menu came up that I've never seen before. A um, little bit, little bit perturbed by that. It's, but it's alright. Alright, we got this guy slagged. <laughs> but uh, you guys were asking before on my video about uh, fucking, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, about badass ranks and proficiencies and which ones I prefer. And a lot of you guys were saying that you prefer Borderlands 1's weapon proficiency, and I would actually agree with you. I think Borderlands 1 got weapon proficiencies right. Uh, you know, badass rank would be all right if they allowed you to pick what you want. And I know that you're gonna be like, but they do. They do allow you to pick. No, they really don't. It's more of like a facade, really. That you think that you're gonna get more to pick, but you don't because they just like they, they force upon you stats that I normally wouldn't get. Would I get fucking, you know, elemental effect damage, blah blah blah. Maybe later on, but I would like to up my gun damage first. And that that's what I liked about Borderlands 1, is that you didn't have to go do a bunch of shitty fucking challenges to get, you know, a good rank. Oh shit, he's got E-Tex. He's got E-Tex! <laughs> but you didn't have to go do a bunch of shitty challenges, because I hate, I hate grinding challenges. 
It's just one of the things that I personally do not like. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that shit uh, inside of video games is fucking, you know, grinding out fucking challenges. And uh, even in like Call of Duty and shit like that. I fucking hate doing that shit, man. That shit, that shit pisses me off. Look, he's he's gun zerking. He's gun zerking. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Give me my fucking health. Um, my adaptive shield has saved me right there. Look, I am still hurt, and it was still holding out. Fucking beautiful. But yeah, I I don't like grinding challenges, and that's what I feel badass rank is. It's like, oh, here's a bunch of challenges you could do to maybe level your shit up. Because as you see, like, look at my badass rank. I have, like, 9 or 10 characters. My badass rank is 33,000. Do I really want to... I haven't even gone through... Oh, there's a guy right there, too. Look. <laughs> right there. Do I really feel like going through all these challenges, seeing what I have done and what I want to do? No! No, I don't want to do that shit. I just want to kill motherfuckers. And that, in Borderlands, is how you leveled up your proficiency. You killed motherfuckers. Ah, oh, shit! I missed him with every fucking bullet. Are you serious? Bullshit. <laughs> oh shit, he, he's got me fucking corroded. He's got me corroded. I don't like this. I don't like it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna... Ah, what the fuck just happened there, motherfucker? Oh, and I gotta revive myself. <laughs> but, yeah, I... I really don't like grinding out challenges for that shit, yeah? Like, I don't wanna sit here. I don't even know what half these challenges are. What is going on? What is... Oh, he's... Is that a super badass? I'm not sure. Let's shoot him in the foot there. Boop. <laughs> see how I got that crit? Did you see that K that popped up? That's why I shoot bitches in the leg with this shit. Because it is amazing to do so. But not only that, the one thing I don't like about badass ranks is that you have to fucking... The, the higher your badass... Oh, shit. The higher your badass rank goes up, the less fucking uh, badass rank, um, badass tokens you get. So, like, you, you gotta get a shit ton of fucking badass tokens just to fucking get more badass tokens after, like, 100,000 or something. I don't, I don't wanna fucking grind here for two years to get my fucking, you know, proficiency up with a gun. I, I just wanna kill some bitches and have some fun and fucking... Gearbox is trying to turn this shit from a hobby into a job. I don't want Borderlands to be a job, motherfucker. I got a job, bitch. Fucking Randy, you, you gotta stop fucking trying to get... Like, I don't understand. Like, they're, they're like... Oh, shit. That's a midget. <laughs> I fucking hate midgets. Fucking hate midgets. Look, look. That's why I hate midgets. They're just... They're fucking impossible. They're so strong. And they, they get undercover like that. And we gotta shoot them right in the foot. Oops, see that critical coming up like that? That is why I shoot bitches in the foot. In the foot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I was saying, fucking, I don't want to have to go do all these challenges just to get these, just to get fucking shit going on. Oh, no. That shit's retarded. Why would I? Oh, wait. That's corrosive. Where's my corrosive pepper now? <laughs> why would I, why would I want to do all these challenges? Why? I don't fucking, I'm just trying to play the game and kill bosses. Like, I don't understand why fucking Gearbox, they keep putting shit in the game, right? And their, their reason is, is, oh, well, it'll make people play longer. How about you just make the game funner, motherfucker? And give us what we want. Don't fucking try to artificially extend our playing time by making fucking us do shit we don't want to fucking do. And this shit, like, I don't want to sit here and fucking snipe at a goddamn fucking... Road Warrior, wanna know why? Because when I saw this shit in the goddamn fucking trailer for the Torque DLC, I was like, oh look, we're getting new vehicles. We're getting new vehicles. No, we're not. We don't get to drive buzzards. We don't get to drive fucking motorcycles. You know what we get? We get tens of thousands of shitty fucking goddamn fucking challenges that we get to quote unquote, that we get to do. In place of fucking weapon proficiencies and fun. Artificially extending the life of a game that doesn't really need artificial extension if you just make it fucking fun. If you just make it fucking fun. That's all you gotta do. Like, fucking... I don't understand why they, they're like, uh, fucking... Oh, we're, we're gonna just take one of the coolest, like, you know, things about fucking Borderlands 1. And they're like, well, no, 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 weapon proficiencies. 
pigeonholed you into using, you know, weapons that you're not proficient with. Well, motherfucker, if you are running around using fucking weapons that you're not proficient with, you will get proficient with them. You know how? You just kill bitches. I don't have to run around and fucking do all these goddamn stupid challenges. And I know I'm repeating myself right now, but you know what? Fuck it, man. Fuck that shit, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, we gotta navigate through the beatdown. This is the way I like to go, because there's a lot of motherfuckers down there. And, uh, you know, I don't want to fight 3,000 people in this episode. Because after this area, I will have to fight 3,000 motherfucking people. There's gonna be a lot of shit going on. And we don't actually have to kill them. All we have to do is make it the Pyro Pete's. So uh, that's what I plan on doing, is making it to Pyro Pete's alive and well without having to fucking fight all these motherfuckers. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it the easy way. And god damn it, see, there's a fucking chest all the way down. God damn it! I'm talking here. I'm talking. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, let's go this way. We gotta navigate through the beatdown, but I wanna get this chest back here. So uh, they won't. They won't really... Yeah, they, they will. Fuck. I forgot they spawned in this alley, too. <laughs> Let's go see if there's anything good in here. Uh, I, I found a level 61 muck muck in here on my siren. And there's nothing really good. Nothing really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that rooftop, right? Because that's where I do a lot of sniping. But uh, a good thing about it is, is that one of the spawn points lays on that fence. So I'm pretty sure... I'm not, I, I haven't done this DLC in a while, but I'm pretty sure right here, I could blow this up, yeah, see, right there, and they can't touch me yet, they don't see me, because I haven't hit the spawn point yet, there it is, there's the spawn point right next to the fence, alright, so this is gonna be a pretty dangerous maneuver that I'm gonna attempt here, but, uh, shit, I'm already being shot at, <laughs> that is not good, uh, see them throwing grenades up here, that is not good, so, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to pull Deception, we're going to jump out, try to get over this fence before anybody can see me, and no, 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 they're going to see me, and I'm gone, what I'm going to do here is, I'm, see how I got my ruby pistol out, because the ruby regenerates health, so I'm just going to keep throwing storm fronts as I go, and it's going to regenerate my health, and that's going to be good, that's going to be good, <laughs> that's what, we're just going to run through our own storm front, it could get bad here. It could get bad, but right here. All right. Uh, 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 uh. All right. <laughs> I think I think we're good now. I think we're fine. We don't want to fight any of those motherfuckers, so ah, won't let me in. Pyro Pete's. It won't let me in. <laughs> there we go. I have reached Pyro Pete's bar without having to fight any of those motherfuckers, and uh. You know, earlier on in my episodes, I, I did want to fight all the enemies in every area so you guys, like, you know, knew what you guys were doing and shit like that. But, uh, some of you guys were just like, you know what, Mac, you don't have to fight in every area. You can run. So, I was like, you know what, thank you guys for giving me the, uh, you know, the feeling that I can, I can run if I have to. And I don't, I don't want to be that guy that runs at every fucking site of every little thing. But, you know what, that area can get really fucking shitty really fucking fast so uh let's go ahead and sell something we need to sell something which is gonna be it's gonna be shitty to do uh let's get rid of this pocket rocket because for some reason this pocket rocket was oh somebody one of my one of my uh one of the uh subscribers said don't get it with the gun stock on the back because then it does something shitty i don't know what it does he didn't tell me but we're going to sell it, grab $35,000, and uh, we're going to, man, I don't know, the greed, yeah, let's sell the greed, we're going to sell that, even though it's a unique, but you know what, I can get that anytime I want, because I play that shit a lot, I play that shit a lot, Tactical Blaster, which one was better, uh, this one's 14000 yep, this one has the bigger clip, but I'm going to just go ahead and sell that, we need a little bit of money here, we need to grab some fucking pistol ammo, uh, Nothing good. I, I heard you guys saying, like, oh, we're getting so many legendaries in the items of the day. I haven't seen shit. Never seen a legendary in the item of the day. And that's, uh, that's sad. It really is. Let's, uh, we got ourselves some rockets. 
I don't know why I did that. I, I probably could have just regenerated rockets. But, you know what? We have ourselves some motherfucking... We got our Infinity. We have our Herald. We have a North Fleet and a Ruby. That should be good enough. And I'm going to end that episode out right here because we are going to fight Pyro motherfucking Pete in the next motherfucking episode. So my name is Jay Gordon Afterkill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on the video, I would highly appreciate it. This was my episode number 36 of my Ultimate Bolt Hunter mode. Let's play. And uh, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going for it. We're going for it. This episode right now. Turn in. Give me my reward. My shitty rifle. And, oh, wow. Alright, so we got to kill these motherfucking badasses. Which is going to suck balls. Suck balls it will. So we got five minutes to do this. Let's go ahead and get up in here. Uh, flesh eating rat. I don't want to fight you. Gather at rally point And fuck it. We'll start right here. That's not good. I should not have started on him. <laughs> but you know what? No guts, no glory, no risk, no reward. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to pick up this second win right here. Yes, yes we will. There's a badass right there. And he's, he's, he's stupid. He's stupid. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fuck it. Fuck it, ready? Boom! Oh! <laughs> that was great. We're gonna North Fleet. Oh shit, I don't have to North Fleet this guy. Where's it? Oh, boop, boop. Look at that scuff, baby. Look at that scuff controller. <laughs> oh shit. Jumping backwards. Where is he? Don't regenerate health, bitch. You ain't regenerating shit. Where's my North Fleet? No Fleet at the top. Gotcha, baby. <laughs> this is. I love the bar fight. Boop. Fuck you too, motherfucker. We got you. We got you. We got. Oh, look, they're, they're not badasses, though. We only gotta kill the badasses. That's the ones that we gotta worry about. There's one right there. And we should probably slag them first. But you know what? Whoop! <laughs> I love that. That is getting... It's getting intense! It's getting wild! It's getting... Whoop! Harrow, baby! Oh, no, 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 no! Clint Eastwood, motherfucker! Hey, hey, all right, all right, all right! Go over there! Yeah, 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 yeah! I'm cool with that. I'm not cool with that, though, motherfucker. Where do you get off? Where do you get off? You're not getting off nowhere, bitch. Ready? Boop. Fuck you, motherfucker. And fuck you, whale. <laughs> oh, it's a shield booster. That's pretty cool. Oh, I did it, too. I beat the bar room. I beat the bar room. Ah, boom, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, dolphin. And fuck you, bone crusher. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're, gonna, you're gonna kill me? You're not gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill you, and a vial of health is gonna come out of you. A vial of health! Look at this. Give me my torque tokens, bitch. What are you doing? Oh, they're downstairs. They're downstairs having a merry go round of a time. Um, fuck it. Boom, bitch! Hey, 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 hey. Stop it. Stop it. You are not. You are not welcome here. This is my bar now, all right? I just, I just fucking Patrick Sweezy this whole room. And if you don't know who Patrick Sweezy is, he is an 80s action star who was known. He's dead now, though. I think he had died of cancer. Hey! Hey! It's my shit! It's mine! Fucking piece of shit. What are you doing up here? Trying to Randy Pitchford all my shit, huh? Huh? How do you like my tea bag? I'm gonna pull that little fucking snot nose off, and I'm gonna shit down that fucking little tube. I'm gonna shit in your tube. How do you like that? How do you like this, bitch? Huh? I'm slicing your dead genitals. Dead genitals. And I'm gonna feed them to you now. <laughs> Man, I am a weird guy. I forgot, though, that we weren't fighting Pyro Pete right now because we had to do this motherfucking barroom blitz. And we did. We whooped some motherfucking ass. And, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. That's finally it. Let's go ahead, turn that in, get our torque tokens, our XP. My name is Jay. More than I have to kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. This was episode 36, the finale of this episode. 
Finally, because I was gonna end it out before, but you know what? Then we did the barroom blitz and we kicked a little bit of fucking ass. So my name is Jim Morton Epic Hill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could throw a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you, motherfuckers. So my name is Jim Morton Epic Hill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. Can you talk as fast as me? I bet you can't. And I'm gonna see you guys later.